Hello everyone, what is up? Happy Monday, you know what Monday means. It is Green Day. Welcome back to my channel for part number 10 of the greens. Oh my gosh, we are halfway done with this series. Isn't that crazy? Like, isn't that crazy? This series is gonna be 20 episodes if you guys didn't already know. Um, and I'm just really excited. Like, I really, really am. So I, I just, I don't know. It's, it's exciting. <laughs> By the way, you guys, I don't have in my contacts, so I'm just letting you know that that's what the situation is. Also, in my Generations episode that I posted, people were complaining about my mouth, and I want to tell you guys really quick, my mouth is very, very sensitive. Like, literally, I could take the smallest finger and just move it, and it'll work. So, it's a very sensitive mouth, so it moves really, really quickly, and it's not spazzing out, okay? That's just how it is, and I don't know. I want to buy a new mouse. Um, but right now I've spent like thousands of dollars on this computer. I really can't afford to invest any more money right now. Um, I mean, like you guys know, I bought the whole, um, everything that's in the computer itself. I bought a light up keyboard. I bought another monitor. There's just a lot that I kind of invested in this computer. And so even though mouses are very not so expensive. I really just kind of want to wait a little bit and focus on getting my room renovated and focus on getting some new clothes because I've been wearing the same clothes since middle school. And um, <laughs> literally, like, li I'm not kidding. Like, you guys think I'm kidding. I'm not kidding. I've been wearing the same clothes since middle school. Um, but anyways, so yeah, I really just want to focus on that and yeah this episode probably will not be um as long maybe i don't know but i do have an eye doctor's appointment today because i cannot see because i don't have my contacts in and i also have to paint my room today finish painting my room hopefully so that's kind of what's going on um anyways so i thought that we would go ahead and give harmony a bit of a makeover because i know that she aged up in the last part and we really didn't get to like explore her outfits too much like i like her hair i think it looks fine Sorry, I'm moving my mic closer to my face. Okay, um, I think that her hair looks fine, but I'm gonna look at some more hair options. I feel like this fits her perfectly though, because she's very like, I'm better than everybody and very prissy, and I just feel like that fits her better. I know that some of you guys were also saying that you could see Harmony with piercings, which I, I can't see that. I could see Reyna with piercings if you guys have seen if you saw Reyna in season one you could see her with piercings I definitely could not see Harmony with piercings because I feel like she's like she's one of those girls that's too good for any of us you get what I mean she's very like I'm better than you you know I'm top notch she kind of reminds me of like who's a good celebrity to compare her to um, and I'm not saying that the celebrity is a bad person or whatever. I mean, they're probably nothing like Harmony, but they just have a very, like, I'm better than you sort of attitude. Like, hmm, who's a good celebrity, you guys? Um, maybe like a Paris Hilton or maybe like a Gigi Hadid. I think that's how you say her name. I know Gigi's really nice, so I'm not really gonna, like, give that comparison. Well, it seems like she's really nice. Um, but yeah, like a very Paris Hilton-y vibe. You know, I don't think Paris Hilton would ever in her natural born life get a piercing. <laughs> but I don't know. I think she does, maybe. Maybe not on her face. Like I could see definitely Harmony getting like a belly piercing or something like that. But nothing that would ruin her gorgeous face. Are you kidding me? Like, are you kidding me? No. This girl is a diva. She, she will not. There's no way. Um, I wish that we were still playing with Reyna when she was younger because I felt like she would have been so fun to explore a little bit, but you know, things happen. So really quick, I'm going to just give her some makeup because yeah, I really just want to give my girl some, some cute little outfits. She definitely needs a little bit of an upgrade. And so I thought that this would be perfect. I also kind of wanted to talk to you guys a little bit because I feel like I have not really talked to you that often. I talk to you in like every video. Like, what am I even talking about? <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Um, ew, that looks ugly. I'm so excited, you guys. I'm doing good on posting daily. <laughs> it's only been two days, but I'm doing pretty decent, I have to say. I have a lot planned, a lot to come, and I'm very excited. And The Sims 4 is gonna make a comeback on my channel eventually. I just have to wait until I finish the single father challenge and probably this series before I um, even think about bringing The Sims 4 back because right now I just have so much on my channel and it's 
it's it, I love it. You know, I love having ser- four series is going on. But at the same time, it's like I don't need to bring in another series, you know, in The Sims 4 because then that's just more that I have to finish. So once I finish the single father challenge, I will be planning a Sims 4 series, hopefully. Um, and by that time, maybe, well, maybe once The Sims... Um, maybe that once this series is over, because then that by that time, a new expansion pack should come out for The Sims 4. Because I don't think I want to do a challenge. I think I want to do like an expansion pack based Let's Play for The Sims 4, just to kind of get myself more introduced with it. But I don't know. And I also want to start doing building videos again, because I really like doing those. It's just I'm really enjoying The Sims 3 right now. I haven't really had any complaints as far as The Sims 3 goes. I just have really been enjoying playing it. I've enjoyed recording. So I don't see me changing that anytime soon. This looks really cute on her, but I want to find like a a pink outfit or something very like classy. That looks really good on her. I'm going to give her that because I feel like that's something she would wear. She's such a little prissy butt and I love it. I can't wait to play her. Oh, my God. Okay. Uh, hmm. Double-sided jeans. I could also see her getting like plastic surgery or something. Definitely let me know what you guys think about that too. Like I could see her getting like plastic surgery to get bigger chesticles and a bigger bootay, you know, uh, maybe even bigger lips. I could just see her going into plastic surgery to make herself look better. Because that's the type of girl that she is. She just always wants to be better. She's always one step ahead, I guess is the right word. I love these jeans. I'm using these. And then we'll just give her some heels. I know you guys are probably bored. So we're going to give her some heels really quick. And then I'm going to change her formal wear. Should I give her these heels? I need to download some new shoes. I think that's what my next showcase is going to be, is shoes. Because I need some new shoes in The Sims 4. Okay, I mean in The Sims 3. <laughs> wrong game okay um doo -doo -doo. yeah definitely need some new shoes these are all the same shoes that I always use okay do let's try these ones for now because or maybe these yeah let's go with these and then I'll just make them black definitely need some new shoes because this is just too much we don't have enough we don't Okay, so in the last poll, I think that you guys said that she should be close with Viola. I think that was the right. I don't know. That might have been what it said on the poll. But so we're going to try and improve our relationship with Viola because um, we need somebody on our side. And you guys thought that Viola would be the best option. And I totally 100% agree with that. So we're going to do that. I'm sorry. This is probably taking forever. I'm sorry, you guys. Okay. I think that's good. I think she's good. She's good. She's good. She's good, girl. Darken up the stress a little bit. And we'll make these red. All right. There we go. Okay. So, yeah, I definitely think that um, we should try and improve our relationship with Viola because I think that's what you guys voted for. It was either Viola or it was Valon, but I'm not 100% sure. So I'm kind of tempted to just check the poll really quick. So we're going to see. We are going to see. I spent eight minutes changing her outfit. Like, are you kidding me? Yes, you guys definitely did vote for Viola. Viola won by a landslide. So I don't know how I didn't remember that. But uh, anyways, so in the previous parts, we found out that our girl Rita is pregnant. I don't know what kind of paternity wear she has on. It is really ugly. Um, we're going to go ahead and change it up a little bit. But I'm so excited. Like, I cannot wait to see if it's a boy or a girl. I have a feeling that she's going to have a girl, though, because this family is notorious for having girls. Um, and she wants a girl, too. And I think Valon wants a girl as well. This family is just notorious for having girls. Like, notorious. Okay. So, the game is a bit laggy, um, which is, you know, I just started up the game, so it's expected. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get Harmony to help out our little kitty here. We're going to give her some reinforcement. And we're going to scold her for being destructive. I'm really thinking about getting rid of Maggie because she's a little butt cheek and I don't like it. Um, she's not the best cat, but, you know, I feel like we just kind of have to deal with it. Viola, what are you doing today? It is a Monday. Do you even have work? No, you do not. Why don't you have school? Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> totally forgot she's an adult now. Okay, so yeah, she is a middle school teacher. And I could feel like Harmony would not work. Or either that or she'd have like some type of part-time job. Um, but I definitely don't think that she would have any type of serious job. Um, Viola wants to work out for a little bit. So we're going to work out. Um, and then let's talk to Valon about this whole situation. She's kind of scared. Like she doesn't know what to do because she's never really been pregnant before. She doesn't like kids. Um, so we're just going to kind of talk to him. We really need to call our dad too. Like we really do. And we need to talk to him too. And we also need to call Spencer to let him know because really everybody that we close are close with, which is pretty much our entire family, we really need to let them know, hey, I'm pregnant. There's going to be a green baby coming along. I was going to say that that would be his first grandchild, but it would be Jackson's third. So actually his fifth because Spencer has kids. Wait, let me check. Let me check. Let me make sure. Okay, so let me look at the family tree really quick. So we've got Samantha and Jackson, all right? They have five kids, obviously. Harmony, Viola, um, Spencer, Raina, Valone. Okay, well, not Valone. So they have four kids, right? Yeah, four kids. And by the way, don't forget that Harmony is not Jackson's kid. She is, I forgot the guy's name. Oh, my God. She's somebody else's daughter. She's not Jackson's. Okay, so then... Jackson's married to Haley right now, and Viola has two kids, two daughters, and that's Isabel and Danny. I could have sworn Spencer had two kids. He has twins, so I don't know why they're not showing up in the family tree. Oh, there they are. Okay. Um, I don't know why they're not attached to Spencer, but anyways. So, yeah, this is his, da his daughter and son, Ethan and Evelyn. So, yeah, that's going to be his Jackson's fifth fifth um pair of grandchildren or f fifth grandchild i guess is the right word we're gonna go ahead and chat with our dad for a little bit um don't invite him over oh wait i think she was doing it right okay let's go ahead and chat with our dad and what are you gonna do harmony you're a little evil person like i love it girl i really do i really really do why can i not hear anything like, this is a struggle, you guys. I cannot hear a single word. Hmm, that's odd. Yeah, you guys, I literally cannot hear anything. Hold the phone. Hold, hold the phone. Hold your pants, saloons. Oh, my God, she's going to go to graduation. I totally forgot. Oh, my God. Okay, let's be real. Harmony is, like, the type of girl to skip and go to the club. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to skip our graduation. <laughs> And we're going to go to the club because that's what we do. We're going to go get wasted. We might even actually invite over Sydney because she's an adult now. I'm pretty sure. She has a boyfriend. <laughs> There's a lot of things we could do about that. Let's go ahead and uh, invite over invite over Ethan and see what he's up to. Maybe we could... um go out with them because that would be pretty interesting we're gonna go to the um where could we go there's so many places that we could actually go out uh we're gonna go to the redwood heights luxury lodge okay and we're gonna get ethan to meet us there or what is this viewing area oh that'd be kind of cute we're gonna go there we're gonna go to the viewing area Okay, and then what are they up to? This rainbow is like so beautiful. Okay, by the way, we have not been working on our girl's painting skill like at all. And there are clothes dropping everywhere. This is like in real life where you just kind of like throw your clothes wherever, <laughs> wherever you see fit. Um, I'm going to put these in here. By the way, you guys, I'm also going to probably be doing a lot of pre-recording because this weekend I am going to Dallas again. So um, I will not be here. Sadly enough, don't miss me too much. I will try to post still. I said daily uploads. I wasn't kidding, okay? I'm going to stick by this. All right, so what do you need to improve? Your cooking skill. Um, but she also needs to work out. Why haven't you been doing that? Do your cardio workout because you need to work out for four hours. And um, let's see. Is that four hours? No, it's not. It's not even close to four hours. Okay, I think that's four hours. We'll do that. Okay, I'm really bad at math, don't judge me. 
Let's go ahead and put this away. I'm gonna let Valon do the laundry. And I think that, you know, our girl here is just feeling really, like, just, she's feeling insane. She really is. She's, like, has so many emotions going on in her head. So she's going to come over here and paint. That's the best emotional outlet for her is to paint. That's, like, her thing. And she really wanted to open an art gallery. But it doesn't seem like that's going to happen now because she's got so many responsibilities to take care of at this point you know she's got her sisters to take care of i mean let's be real reyna does take care of her sisters like no matter how you guys try to spin it she takes care of her sisters um work out you are you kidding me is there a radio somewhere let's go upstairs is there anywhere that she could work out nope there's not are you kidding me and what i'm actually thinking is i'm thinking about letting danny move in with us like i think that isabel you know she's old enough she can make her own decisions and i really don't think that isabel wants to live with her mom um mostly because she loves her grandfather and i think that she would want to be there if anything were to ever happen to her grandparents so i think that it's best if maybe just danny moves in with us and we keep um we keep Isabel kind of on a short lease, you know, leash. We still talk to her and we still, you know, check up on her every now and again. But I think it's just best if, uh, if you know, Isabel stays with her grandparents and Danny moves in with us. Let me know what you guys think. I, I think that we're going to do that. I definitely do. But I think we're going to wait until Reyna has her baby. Just to kind of make sure that we have the space and everything like that. Because you never know. And if we really just want to deal with her, like, let's be real here. Okay, so let's go ahead and check back up on Harmony. Um, she is at this hideout spot. And what we're going to do is we are going to invite over um, Percy here and see what he's up to. She hasn't talked to Percy since they woohooed. And, um, which I think was on her birthday. And she's very interested in talking to him, but he doesn't want to come over. All right, fine. Let's invite over Sydney. All right, so of course, Sydney is always at her beckoning call. So Sydney's going to come here and she's going to um, hopefully hang out with our girl here. Um, if you did not know or if you don't, haven't watched the previous episodes, Sydney is kind of like um, Harmony's boy toy, but she's not a boy, if that makes any sense. Harmony's like, Sydney's like Harmony's accomplice. She's like her other half, but... Um, Let's be real, Harmony uses her pretty much. And Sydney actually loves Harmony very, very much. And it's in not even just a friend type of love. It's an emotional love, love. And uh, Harmony is just using her as bait pretty much is, I guess, the right word. To have somebody on her side, to have an accomplice. And um, I don't really know how Sydney feels about that. But I don't think that she really knows. And I think everybody else does. Um, Sydney kind of is de in denial like no Harmony's my best friend she'd never do that to me and of course really Harmony's only true best friend that she feels like she 100% would never use and never take advantage of is Annie and that's weird to say because Annie's very innocent and I feel like she would be an easy person to screw over but she just has no interest in screwing over Annie oh. weird right and I don't even think you guys have ever met Annie yet so we definitely got to get Annie in the mix. And we've got to age her up too because I think she's still a a little one. I think she sees Annie as more of like a little sister. Not a little sister, but like a, um, what's the right word? A protege. Is that the right word? I don't know the right word for it. Like just her little, not minion because Annie doesn't follow her. Hmm. Kind of like someone that she can coach and mentor. That's the right word. Um, she sees Annie as somebody that she can mentor into her evil schemes. Um, but she does truly and really care about Annie. I think Annie is actually a year younger than them. So she's not going to age up at the same time that they do. And, of course, a firefighter. Just going to wait for you to finish, as always. Thank you. Okay. Um, so she's not going to abuse Annie. She's not going to, like, take advantage of her or anything because she she genuinely does um, care about Annie in a friendship sort of way. So as in being her mentor and she wants Annie to go down the right path in her mind, which is the wrong path in everybody else's mind. So, you know, um, anyways, let's see if our girl is here yet. There she is. Is that her? No, this is Jewel. Who the hell are you? 
Jewel Song? I don't even know. Can you come over here? Like, seriously? Are we going to have to invite over Percy? Like, is that what we're going to have to do? Uh, do, 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 invite out. Why can't we invite over Percy? I think it's because we invited him over before. That's really weird. Can you come over here? Like, where All right, she? well, Harmony's pissed. She's like, if I call you, and you need to be here. And here we go. She's not here. Like, I have not seen her. Harmony's been sitting out here in the rain. She is not the type of girl to just stand and wait for somebody. That is not her um, thing. So screw her. Screw her. We're going to give her a piece of our mind when we see her, though. I can guarantee you that. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we are going to go to... The dance club we're gonna go to the grind it's not open till five are you kidding me okay let's see if percy might want to go out probably not i doubt it because <laughs> he's kind of shaky about going out with her but we can always try Ooh, is this health spa actually like i don't think it is uh, i was gonna say is it functional but i don't think it is let's go to hmm there's two pools here. That's cool. All right. Let's go to the... I can't even think. Where's a good place to go? Let's go to the tavern and cafe. Maybe he'll meet us there. I doubt it. Yeah, no. Try calling back in four hours. Maybe he has a job. He might just have a job. All right. We want to hit up some hot spots, though. Why is Sydney not coming? She's going to call her one more time, and if she doesn't show up this time, we're going to give her a piece of our mind. Because she needs to show up. Whenever, you know, Harmony calls you, you're there. And if you're not there, there's going to be some issues. So she's going to meet her there. We're going to go ahead and check back on the house and see what everybody else is doing. Valon's just kind of standing in the middle of the room. He's done with his cleaning. Everybody's really just standing. Um... And what are you doing? Oh, okay, dog's talking to him. Viola, did you work out? No, you did not. Let's go ahead and, well, I mean, you did for a little bit. Let's go and uh, take a quick shower. She wants to go jogging too, which we'll definitely have to do. How much is this worth? I know her paintings are worth quite a bit. 196 simoleons. I'll go ahead and just frame it. And we'll uh, paint a little bit more. She really likes painting. That's her emotional outlet, so we'll let her continue to paint. She's really scared. She doesn't like kids at all, so it's just, it's very scary for her. But, you know, that's what happens when you do it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> when you get it on. Okay, so what does he want to do? He wants to kiss Raina. And we also want to buy a trampoline and group up with Raina. Interesting. Let's see what else there is to do, though. Hmm. We're going to go ahead and use the bathroom. Or I guess we have to unclog it first. And we will take a quick shower. Okay. And what is going on with this here? Let's sell this stuff in our inventory because we don't need it. Oh my god, you guys. I just had the evilest idea on the planet. But I don't think that you guys are going to like me if I say it. So I'm not going to say it. Oh, I am going to say it. But um, I'm, I don't think I'm going to do it unless you guys are interested in it so you guys know this family is known for drama a lot of you guys don't trust Falona, which i totally get um because he's just some random guy that came up on the scene how could you trust him and let's be real none of the green girls have ever really had a happy ending you guys get what i'm getting at do you guys get what i'm getting at i don't i don't think you get what i'm getting at I, I, mm, 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 I'm an evil person and there's going to be people that dislike this video because of it. Ooh, 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 but I have so many plans. Oh my God. It's going to work out so beautifully too. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay. Anyways, <laughs> I'm not going to say anything though. You guys can guess in the comments if you want, but I'm not going to say it out loud because I know people are going to be pissed the hell off. Okay. So, Harmony 
is going to go ahead and uh, we are going to mastermind a plot. So, we know that Harmony is always known for causing drama. No one can be happy around Harmony. If you're with Harmony, there is just no happiness. There's no way to really um, be around her and have a good life. Like, let's be real here. Harmony is ready to go to the club. She's ready to have fun. She's ready to get it down. And um, I think that she might consider inviting someone to go to the club with her that you guys would not necessarily expect. So what we're going to do is we are going to go to the dance club, the grind, if you will. And uh, she's got a little bit of evil up her sleeve, like she does. She's got some, she's got some master plans up her sleeve, and you guys are never gonna guess what kind of plan we got. Oh my god! Whew. Okay. So we are evil. I know. I know. If you guys have not figured out what the plan is, oh. You will see very very soon. You will. Let's go ahead and get Harmony to come over here She's gonna text a little special someone and um, See if you know, maybe they want to come down here She's gonna be like, you know, I really just don't feel comfortable being here by myself You know, I'm very scared and it's just it's 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 really hard for me to be here by myself You know, I'm a lonely a lonely girl and I'm just so innocent and I really need somebody to just come here and help me out Valon has received her text and he's not a big harmony fan. He's like, what is this girl up to? But he's gonna come here and he's gonna help her So we're gonna order a quick drink and we are going to order the neon breeze We've got some tricks up our neon sleeves. No, let's get it <laughs> God. Okay, uh, we are gonna go and get a quick drink and um, Malone's on his way over here. Reyna is still painting. Now keep in mind that Harmony does not... Reyna loves Harmony, of course, they're sisters. Harmony is good with Reyna, they're cool, but as I said, accomplices. You guys get what I mean? Harmony doesn't care about anybody except for Annie, really, if you want me to be honest. She doesn't really care about anybody but herself and Annie. And so, you know, she might take a little advantage of that. Who knows? Who knows? Oh my god, I cannot wait to post this on t Tumblr. You guys are gonna freak out. Ah! I'm so excited. Okay. <laughs> oh god. She's like, hello. She sees him walking in the room. Hello, Vanel. How you doing? You look real nice today. You look really nice. Uh, she's going to be funny. Tell him a funny story and talk about how, you know, oh, well, you know, I just wanted somebody here. I just wanted the company. You know, you should come and you should drink with me. And it's like, I don't think that's such a good idea. I don't, I don't, I don't know how I feel about that. And of course, she's trying to convince him. She's like, you know, I think that, you know, maybe, just maybe. We can have a little bit of fun. Just drink with me. And of course, he's an idiot and he's feeding into it. Uh, because he does not really know what our our girl Harmony is capable of. Like, he doesn't know. He does not know. So we are going to just kind of admire him. Admire him completely. Talk about how we really appreciate how good he's being to our sister. We are going to talk about how much we truly appreciate him being around and that he's really been a blessing to this family. Of course, that's not really what we think, but we're just going to say it. Um, we are also going to... Hmm. You guys are going to hate me. We're going to shock a bra. <laughs> and we're going to gossip a little bit and we're just gonna ask you know how how he feels about having a daughter and a son you know what what is his um feelings towards that and he's gonna tell us and say that you know he doesn't really know how he feels about it but he is ready daughter and a son what am i talking about <laughs> what am i talking about a daughter or a son that's what i meant and um you know so their relationship is improving. You guys never said that uh, we couldn't have two accomplices. Like, let's be real here. So uh, we're going to shock a bra. We're going to share a secret. 
Um, let's go ahead and we're gonna order him a drink. Just a, you know, just a little something special. Just something really small. And hold on, let's see what this says. Oh no, Harmony has been caught with another and has gotten a reputation for being a cheater. It could, it could be hard to build trust with a reputation like that. Who cares? Honestly, we don't give a crap. We really don't. Let's buy a round of drinks for us and Valon here. So, um, yeah, we're gonna buy him, we're gonna buy a round. We are going to buy a round of drinks. And of course, Viola is home. Uh, she's just working on her stuff here. And then Reina's just kind of chilling too. So we're gonna let her use the bathroom. And Reina's going to use the bathroom and then probably make something to eat because she's pretty hungry. And are we gonna get our round of drinks, please? She's like, please make it, make it fast, make it in a hurry, please. He's gonna leave soon. Come on, get us our drinks. She is pulling in the charm. Like seriously, this girl is a little sneaky girl and I love it. Let's do formal wear. Valone is like in the bathroom. He is contemplating his life choices. He is like, what the heck is going on? He doesn't know like what what is happening. He's so confused, but at the same time, it's kind of flattered. Like, let's be real, you know? Harmony's finally being nice to him. He's excited because he wants to get on everybody's good side. So he's just kind of in here talking to himself. Um, let's see what Harmony's up to. This episode is probably going to be long as hell. Let's go ahead and grab a quick drink. Um, we are going to bring this drink to... Actually, we'll just grab one. Grab a drink and hopefully... Um, we can get a little tipsy, a little tipsy. I'm gonna have to edit out this um, episode a lot because as I said, it's really, really long. And this one is our drinks. I don't know why we didn't drink those. Okay, let's go ahead and get him to drink a drink once he finishes talking to himself. Come over here. Come on, come on, come on. And what I'm actually thinking about doing is let me see how many lifetime reward points she has. Not <laughs> barely any like none at all we need to ask sydney out on a date too which is our goal here okay girl <laughs> see okay you can let him know that of your intentions you make it evil laughs like that of course he's gonna be suspicious you weirdo admire handiness skill we're gonna ask about his age we're gonna ask about his gender preference even though we already know that um uh, we're gonna shock a bra just kind of he just thinks that she's trying to be a good sister and that she's really get it trying to get to know him Although that's not necessarily the case, but we're not gonna tell him that so we're gonna speed on through all this conversation Ooh, that is loud. Holy crap Holy crap that is loud to change volume to low. Okay Stop now come over here. You can starve for a bit Ooh, That girl's like getting it get it granny <laughs> She is twerking the booty. Let's go ahead and let Viola or Reina go to sleep. Viola's gonna grab something to eat and then she's gonna go to sleep as well. And our girl is feeling a little bit on the tipsy side. So is Valon. He is like, what is happening and why do I feel like the world is spinning? Like he is, hmm, let's just say that, um, you know, our girl Harmony has some things up her sleeve. What do you guys think that, you know, did she, do you think that she did something to his drink? Do you, do you, do you? Because uh, she's being awfully flirty and nice all of a sudden. And uh, Valon doesn't know how to feel about that. So let's go ahead and uh, tell him a story and just kind of talk to him a little bit. And this music is so loud. How do we turn it down? This episode is going to be so long. Like I kid you guys not. Longest episode of the universe, but I know you guys love it, so share secret they're just gonna continue like who cares right this is episode 10 it's got to be like the the episode that makes everything everything start stop come over here keep talking you've got a plan girl harmony never walks away from a plan okay let's uh hmm Doo -doo -doo. talk about the cold Let's see. Enthuse about business. 
Um, and then let's kind of give him a little bit of a pickup line. He's your brother-in-law, girl. Oh my god. Oh my god. Tell a funny story. Who knows? I mean, they're both a pretty tipsy. He's just kind of like, um, what are you doing? <laughs> he ain't that tipsy girl. Come on. It's too early. Request compliment. No, that's weird. But you just gotta be super, super nice to him. Like, super fake. That's what Harmony is known for, being fake. <laughs> what did they say about me? Okay. Uh, let's see. Ask about day. Hmm. Friendly. Uh, talk about rain. Come on. We gotta work on this relationship just a little bit. All right, you guys. So we are good friends. Oh, my God. This is working out so well. Okay, you guys, so me and our our relationship with Valon, I still don't know why we said me and Valon, relationship is really getting where it needs to be. Um, sadly enough, what we're going to have to do is we're just going to have to plant one on him. We're drunk, you know, and we're making a million excuses as to why we're not Oh, my God. <laughs> I mean, you guys, I mean, I, you guys, it's closing time. <gasps> Oh, you guys are going to hate me. <laughs> it's closing time in the bar. And the paparazzi is gone. Ooh. Okay, you guys. Oh, my God. Go ahead and let me know what you think in the comments. Do you think that, you know, Valon might just tell Rena about what happened and or do you think he'll just wake up and not remember? And, you know, what do you think Harmony did to his drink? What do you what do you think that she did? This girl is smart and she knows exactly what she is doing. We don't know what she's doing, but she knows what she's doing. And that's all that matters, right? at the end of the day so let me know in the comments down below do you still think that Valone's a good guy or do you think that Harmon and Harmony just kind of swindled him or do you think that he's a bad guy and that he shouldn't have even gone over there in the first place let me know what you guys think in the comments give me your explanation start some discussions I'll even talk to you guys about it because I know some of you guys are gonna not be too happy with me that I decided to do this but I love you all so very much I hope you enjoyed part number 10 of the greens and I will see you all next Monday for another part bye guys <laughs>